Sup my friends, what is going on and welcome back to another video, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jacob and uh, this is my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I think that this video, this particular video, talking about this particular player is going to go relatively well, so we might even have some brand new viewers. If you are, consider subscribing. If you enjoy this video, consider hitting the like button. And look, if you want to help me out even more, consider leaving a comment for the algorithm. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, guys, in a career of a YouTuber, likes and comments are real currency. Remember that. Just a thought. Anyways, guys, Justin Jefferson, Vikings, wide receiver, went to LSU, got picked up, I'm going to say in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. And I'm not going to lie, he didn't take long to begin balling out. I, I haven't seen a huge amount of his highlights. In fact, I haven't I haven't seen any. So I'm really looking forward to this video. We're, not probably, we're probably not going to see too many highlights, but we are going to see what his peers around the league think of him. So before we get into it, guys, two quick things. The first is uh, somewhat of a gritty. And the second is a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, the Ridge Wallet. Sup guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than the Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm going to show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick Minute. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this, yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards, it's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it, of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five-star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45-day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect, actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets. The website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob. Use code Jacob for 10% off. And I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use. Guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm going to be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers, guys. And enjoy the video. All right, guys. Now that the formalities are over with, let's continue with the video. Justin Jefferson, wide receiver for the Vikings. And if there's one thing that hits me before we start this video, it's the amount of views. He's got over 300,000 views on the video, which means, which means, you know, among fans, he is a relatively popular player. But is he popular among his NFL peers? Let's find out. Justin, who's always come down to LSU camp. Thanks, thanks. So his brother and I, we were roommates in college. Justin, who's always come down to LSU camp. Thanks, thanks. All the pop tarts and all the cereal and all the Gatorade and stuff going out of the fridge. We need some energy. <laughs> he went in the first round. I need a big sack of that stuff. I need at least 20% off top for groceries and all that. <laughs> he stole all his Gatorade cereal and pop tarts. Now, I'm going to say to all you aspiring NFL athletes out there do what he says, not what he does. Pop tarts? Not bad. Gatorade, I like it. Cereal, well, everyone loves cereal. So really, I, I, I don't know what your, what your problem is there, Trey. Thanks. But if there's one thing I can imagine, it's Justin Jefferson in college coming into the house and just ransacking the fridge. And look, I might have led him away with it originally, but to hear that he got picked up in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft, yeah, I want my commissions, mate. <laughs> Everything he's doing, he's been doing to, in, to kids in high school and college before you've seen it now. Favorite play I made uh, probably was my first touchdown. It was against Tennessee Titans, uh, week three. Straight drop, passing right, Jefferson, yes, on the run, and he is... 
Luckily, something happened after the catch. Broke and, a couple uh, of tackles. Right. First heard about the gritty with his teammate Adam Thielen. Now we're going to really hear about the gritty. Take it away, Justin. That was, that was cool. He calls that dance the gritty. 71 yard touchdown by this dynamic rookie, Justin Jefferson. As soon as I made the move, I looked over to uh, the sideline and everybody was going crazy. I like did this because, like, you know, everybody was going crazy. I'm like, yeah, like this. Like this is me. This is this is happening, man. This is this is actually happening. I actually just broke two tackles, and I'm actually about to score my first NFL touchdown. This is what I'm here for. Woo! Time to shine, baby. Woo! Time to shine, baby. Did he put a move on Kendall Sheffield? Holy cow! <laughs> He's Woo! the brilliant JJ, and the rookie turns on the burners. He really did turn on the burners, and with that in mind, let's look up his stats. Justin Jefferson, age 22, six foot one, just over 200 pounds, went pick number 22 in the 2020 NFL Draft. He made the Pro Bowl in his first goddamn season. He went from scoring 1,540 receiving yards in his final year at college to recording 1,400 receiving yards in his first year in the NFL. Now, I don't know which year is more impressive. 18 touchdowns in college, seven touchdowns in the NFL. But still, I don't know which one's more impressive. Right, uh, next statistic that is extremely interesting, if nothing else, is a 4-4-3 40-yard dash. Now that is elite speed. Not only that, we've got a 37.5-inch vertical jump, a 10-foot, 6-inch broad jump, and uh, look, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the Wonderlick score uh, for now. He was one of only two rookies named to the 2021 Pro Bowl, alongside Chase Young, who we have seen on this list already. And, uh, well, guys, let's, uh, let's continue this video and finish it off. Do you know what I'm thinking about right now? I'm not sure about you guys, but <laughs> all I'm trying to decide is, because uh, we know he's a gun player, we know he's going to make catches, we know he's going to score touchdowns, we know he's got a mean joke, which we just saw then, and I desperately wanted to break it down for you all, but I'm not going to. But what I'm trying to decide is whether I enjoy most uh, the uh, the gold gloves, the, the white gloves, or the black gloves. And I wouldn't mind seeing some purple ones either. But I will say that my pick of the bunch is the Golden Gloves. Where he's at now, he had that motivation, that desire to be great. Drive. Motivation. Who knows where some things come from? Just I missed that. Who knows where some things come from? Justin Jefferson's focus never wavered, even when chasing history. There's a lot of tremendous receivers in the Hang on. Hang on. Is that is that either the NFL rookie wide receiver record? I don't know what it is, but it's some pretty sick artwork to have on your cleats. When chasing history. There's a lot of tremendous receivers in this league. And uh, for me to be able to break a record that all of those guys couldn't be able to break... Um, that was special for me. The best rookie receiver in the NFL, Justin Jefferson, has the most receiving yards by a rookie in the history of the National Football League. You know, just having my name in the history books at the top of the list, uh, that's definitely um, a dream of mine and um, definitely all of the hard work is paying off. That is so, so impressive, and I really don't want to discount anything about that. And honestly, guys, I, I'd, I'd be doing myself a real disservice if I didn't at least look up 
which player it was that he eclipsed rewrote nfl history let's go randy moss well there he is went from uh, 1,820 yards in his final season of college to his rookie NFL season as a wide receiver with the Minnesota Vikings playing 16 games, recording 69 receptions at an average of 19 per reception for a total of 1,313 rookie season receiving yards and 17 touchdowns. And I'll tell you what, Justin Jefferson may have the rookie receiving yards record, but he don't have that rookie receiving touchdown record. And that record, my friends, belongs with Randy Moss. Anyways, guys, that was another video in the books. And this time, I'm not even going to see who is next. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We're almost halfway. It is a mammoth task, but it's a task that provides me with such pride when it's all done. And uh, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for being here. And I will see you in the next one, whoever that may be. Peace out, guys.